As we have new information from a chase and an hours long search near Macon High School. When school was dismissed Wednesday at Westside High School, a campus officer saw a gun inside a car in the pickup line. Police chased the suspect, but it took several hours to track him down. Today, Bibb County arrest warrants identified the suspect as 17 year old Zion Hardwick. They say he had a Bushmaster 223, which the warrants call an assault rifle. That is the same type of gun that was used in the Sandy Hook school shooting. Today we talked to Bibb County School Superintendent Dan Sims, who says the case was not connected to a disturbance at the school earlier Wednesday. He told Megan Western more about the emergency that put Westside on lockdown and closed the school for two days. I slept well last night knowing that I had every single one of my Westside students and every single one of my Westside staff at home and safe. Superintendent Dan Sims says all is well with the Seminoles and they are continuing to investigate why 17 year old Zion Hardwick was on campus. The most important part for us was to address this incident, which we did, and then to ensure and restore safety for everybody, which we are continuing to work on. Hardwick's arrest warrants call him an admitted member of the OTS gang in Macon, and they show that this isn't his first time carrying a firearm on school grounds. Bibb County investigators say they found a photo posted to Instagram that showed Hardwick in the West Side High parking lot during a football game, and they say he was holding what looked like a rifle. Sims says the school district will continue to work with authorities to keep gangs out of the school. In terms of gang activity, uh, wherever it is, and it's important for us just to have a, a good sense of knowledge in terms of what may be happening. So that said it again, at the end of the day, we keep everybody safe. And he says parents can help. Help us out from a community standpoint uh, to be on the lookout. Uh, we all have to be community advocates. He reminds parents to keep contact info updated. Communication is key when things happen. And the more we are connected, the better we can all work together to bring things back to peace. Sim says they take safety very seriously and they will continue to monitor and practice safety precautions. In Macon, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Bibb County Campus Police are still investigating the case. They are in charge of the investigation, not the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Hardwick remains in the Bibb County Jail facing several charges, including gang activity, having a gun on school property, and being a person under 21 possessing an assault weapon.